Hello guys, how are you doing? Today we are back again with another reaction for Eurovision 2024. This time we're going to be reacting to San Marino's song 1111 and it is by a band called Megara. Megara are a Spanish group currently based in Madrid. The band are known for mixing rock and metal sounds with elements of dance and electronica. Oh my god, yes! I love the name 1111 because it's like an angel number. Whenever I see an angel number, I think that's like a good sound something new is coming up or something in life is about to change so maybe that's why it's the name of the song who knows overall 1111 conveys a mix of resignation defiance and a search for meaning and fulfillment in the face of heartache oh no the song emphasizes the importance of self-worth resilience and the acknowledgement that not all voices are truthful or worth listening to. It suggests a journey towards self-discovery, acceptance and the possibility of finding happiness and love elsewhere if rejected in one relationship. Oh that's good you know that's why it's 11-11 you know the something new is coming up, the angels are sending a message that do not give up, the life is gonna bring something new. That's really nice. As always just a reminder I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole video or whole performance due to the copyrights if you do want to check it out make sure you check out youtube video for megara and give them some love but other than that let's react to the video i'm also going to check out the comments after this to see what you guys think so stay tuned for that let's go oh wow we have dolls i love the pink and black that neon pink Oh, <laughs> what? Okay, um, my sound is different. I don't know if the sound of the recording is not the best, but I'm not sure if this is just my headphones or just this recording but it does sound a little bit i don't know maybe too too compressed let me know if you feel the same way i don't know what i'm thinking about this i don't know what's happening on stage i do like the chorus Oh, we have a dab! We like to party. We like to party. Okay. Ooh, the breakdown is good though. This is definitely different. We haven't seen this in the competition yet. Oh, these are... <laughs> oh, we got some screamer. Well, let's just say, like, my favorite part was the breakdown where they had instrumental and then they were doing a dance, like this part here. <laughs> I just love how they're using this kind of this um, Spanish sounding guitar. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that they're implementing that as an instrument. I thought that was pretty cool. I also quite like that they added Screamo at the end. I really like that. How do I take these off? <laughs> I want to see what it says on the back. Wait, maybe I can do it this way. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if there's something going on with the sound here, but it just sounds really flat. It just sounds really muffled for some reason, but I don't know if it's this is me. Maybe this is my sound. I don't know. Let me just double check. Nope, it's not my headphones. So yeah, I think there's something going on with the sound itself. I don't know if there was issues or not. I'm really interested to see this on Eurovision stage. I think they're gonna do some madness, some crazy stuff on the stage and it's gonna be absolutely 
I don't know. I think we're all going to be there like, what? I also feel like we haven't had this yet in the competition. Something similar we had with the Norway. They also used this metal genre, but it was more like folk metal. Whereas here, we are seeing we had Screamer. We had cool breakdowns with guitars. I just love that they used traditional Spanish sounding instrument there. Let me know if you know what the sound, uh, what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's like a type of guitar. But yeah, I don't know if this is my favorite song it is a more on the freakish side you know it's a little bit more crazier not everybody is gonna be into this type of music but the people who do appreciate some metal i think that they will enjoy this i really like the outfits i love the neon pink really love this bright bright pink as well my fave oh i didn't realize okay so m-e-l-a-p-e-l-a -E 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 is i-d-g-a-f so like, you know, Dua Lipa's song, IDGF, I don't give up. So that's what that that was on there. Right. And it was saying, Que si tu no me quieres, otra gente me quiera. Because if you don't want me, other people will. I love that. That is so good. The verse actually goes, my heart is broken, but it's kind of ironic. Nothing romantic. A wound between the two of us. I know it sounds tragic, but it's not. Okay, so it's not like a hard heartbreak song. It's actually a sassy song. I love this. Can you stop wasting time looking for everything, looking for my veins? Oh, I know there's nothing to do, but who are you? Please take me away. You'll be able to jump all night. Come and give me a reason to want to change the voices. You know, some lie and others don't. I don't give a... <laughs> because if you don't want me, other people will. That's really cool. Uh, it is a really sassy song. I love it. The lyrics are good. I'm interested to know what you guys think. So let's check out the comment section on the YouTube video. Someone is saying, if this is staged well enough, San Marino can get their first qualification since Adrenalina. Okay, so you guys like that. Then we have Megara 12 points from Spain. So Spain loves it. Spain loves it. Okay, okay, okay. Someone says, I'm happy they won. Definitely one of the best and catchiest songs of the night. Okay, okay, let me know what the other songs you thought that were good in the competition. What what were your favorites? Are you happy that they won? I want to know this. Let me know in the comments. San Marino 100% qualifying this year. Well done. Also Spain votes in the second semifinal. So 12 points from Spain for sure. Okay, so Spain loves it. Winner, great dancers, staging, singing by the lead singer and a really strong song. Ooh, so you guys seem to enjoy it then. Okay, I definitely think the song has elements that we haven't seen yet in the competition this year. So that definitely makes it different and more interesting. I also said that I do actually like the song. I just feel like the sound wasn't the best in the video, but that's again, maybe when you guys were watching it live or when you were watching it on TV, it sounded better. But just like in my headphones, I don't know, for some reason it just sounds really muffled. But, like, I think what they've done on the stage with the dance and stuff and, like, all the outfits, it's crazy. But I love it. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think this is too crazy? Or do you like it? Make sure you comment down below. And also let me know who were your top five from the San Marino's national final performances. Are you happy that Megara won? Or did you want someone else to win? I want to know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.